Hi, this is Alex from Groovy Entertainment. Today we got another CD to play for you. Today's CD is Superman Story 9 from 1940. So let's get started. Presenting Superman. Up in the sky. Look, it's a bird. It's a plane. It's Superman. And now Superman. Strange and amazing figure from another world who has come to Earth as the champion of the weak and the oppressed. As our story opens today, Superman in his character of Clark Kent, reporter, is just where we left him. In the laboratory of Dr. Dahlgren, bending over the reviving form of the scientist who has been stunned by the blowing open of his safe. Outside, a distant clock has just struck 5.30. Inside, Kent and the doctor stare at the empty safe, realizing that the steel cylinders necessary to operate the Dahlgren atomic beam have been stolen, and that the yellow mask can now make good his threat to blow the Daily Planet building to fragments on the dot of six. Lois Lane has been sent to bring the police and warn the paper. Sirens wail as squad cars race toward the scene of the explosion. Meanwhile, the yellow mask himself watches grimly from a secret hiding place, waiting for the uproar to die down. Listen. So the sound of the explosion has brought the police like bees to a honeypot. Very well, I shall wait until I am ready to leave, and then all of the police in the city will not stop me. Are both cars waiting? Are ready when you get the word, Chief. Good. Who's this, Michael? Who's that with you? Yeah, I got a visitor for you, Chief. Can you let me go. Put me down. That girl, where did she come from? She belongs to the fellow from the newspaper. After the explosion, she went for the cop. I seen her coming down the stairs, and I thought maybe we'd better hang on to her. You beast. Let me go. Excellent, Michael. Well done indeed. Put her in the second car with the machine. I won't go. Bring her to the airport, Michael. Put her in the plane. You heard what he said. Come on. Take it, Joe. I won't. Stop. Put me down. What'll you do with it, Chief? That young man, Kent, has annoyed us before. I shall take no chances this time. If he hinders my plans in the next half hour, he signs this girl's death warrant. Start up the car. <laughs> In the laboratory of Dr. Dahlgren. Oh, my. Kent, how did they know? Who told them when to come? To steal the cylinders? Yes. Now, Dr. Dahlgren, you remember I asked you if there was anyone named Michael hereabouts? Yes, my servant. I've had him for years. Well, Michael betrayed you to the Yellow Mask. He had a dictaphone in every room of the laboratory and told them of every move you made. Michael did that? Where is he? I don't know. Probably following the mask. And that's where I'm going, too. No, Kent, don't leave me. Come back. Doctor, you'll be all right. The police are on the stairs right now. Sorry, I can't wait. Hey, what goes on in here? What's the trouble? Can't go down. It's got to be up. Maybe the next landing. Now, this will do it. Out of these clothes. <sighs> up for the window. What's the time? Where's that clock? Good thing I can see in the dark. Twenty-five minutes to six. Twenty-five minutes to find the yellow mask, or else... I don't know. Not much time, but here we go. Up! Up! One of two things. He's either going back to town or out to an airport. But first, I must warn White to clear the building just in case. Faster! Faster! Twenty-five minutes! Out of an airplane. Now, Kent, is that you? 
Where have you been, Matt? Where have you been? Where have you been, Mr. White? Is Miss Lane here? Jeff, just this second, a call came from the mask. He's got an airplane, and he's got Lois. What? It's true. Uh, what did you find out with all this? Mr. White, it's bad. The mask got away with the atomic beam machine. He could wipe us out in a second. What? Well, where are you going? Call the nearest flying field, the one on the point. I can be there in eight minutes. Have them warm up a plane. You can't fly. What are you going to yes, do? Yes, I can, and I will. So long, Mr. White. I'm not running out on you. Can't wait. It's our wait. only chance, and I'm taking it. If you don't hear from me by two minutes of, there's nothing we can do. All alone in the hall. Out of these clothes. No time for opening windows. Has chance, Mask. But Superman still has time. You can fly, so can I. I'll get to the field and take a plane myself. That's the... Oh, you're dreaming, Lois. 
Well, uh, look who's here. Come in, Cat. Morning, Mr. White. Morning, Miss Lane. Oh, good morning. If you'll excuse me, Mr. White. I don't know what Miss Lane has against me. Oh, you mustn't mind her. Kent, I can't thank you enough for what you did. You saved all our lives. Oh, I was just lucky, Mr. White. Crashed the planes and came down by parachute. Oh, by the way, was anything left of the mask's plane? Nothing left of either the plane or the mask. Dr. Dahlgren's machine was ruined, too. Incidentally, he called earlier this morning to thank you and tell you that he's destroyed the duplicate of that machine and the plans for building it. He thought you'd approve. I do. It was much too dangerous a device in the hands of the wrong person. Oh, uh, say, Kent, uh, there's something been bothering me. Yes? Lois seems to think she was rescued by a man in a red cape, a superman who flew through the air. Now, you remember that Western story you covered? There were rumors about such a man, red cape, flying through the air. Now, do you oh, think... It's too that... silly to talk about, Mr. White. I know, but... Uh... Hey, Mr. White, about that fire in the Sterling... Bank. Yeah, what about it? Uh, don't go, Kent. Just got a phone call. They think it's a girl trapped on the 20th floor. What? A girl trapped? Can't they get her out? Can't reach her. Mr. White, let me cover that story. Maybe... Maybe what? Well, maybe I... Maybe I can do something. Can I cover it? Sure, but if the fire department can't reach her, what do you think you can do? What does Clark Kent mean to do? Does he intend to assume the blue costume and red cape of Superman and attempt a daring rescue of the trapped girl in broad daylight? Does he dare reveal himself as Superman before the thousands of people watching the fire in the street below? What will happen? Tune in next time and find out. And remember, don't miss the next installment of Superman. Up the sky. Look, it's a bird. Superman is a copyrighted feature appearing in Action Comics magazine. So that was Superman Story 9 for 1940. So if you like, subscribe, share, and comment, and have a groovy day. I have another video coming out real soon.